welcome back to my channel this is my third video on this channel if you are new here this is Eva Lagonico and today I'm going to be talking about how to add an agent into your WhatsApp. so if you check my previous videos I have discussed how to set up your WhatsApp manager and today I will discuss on how to add an agent into the parcel manager so now for this but for the purpose of this i'm going to be using two agents i'm going to be adding two agents into this my wazo manager and <coughs> i'm going to be using for this particular in demonstration i already have an wazo installed on my virtual box and running so i have a wazo version 4.12 here and also i have a two worker node here which i'm going to be using i'm going to be this a uh, worker one and worker two they are ubuntu machine they have they are vagrant and a vagrant machine and the ubuntu machine and i'm going to be adding this two machine into my wazo as an agent so without wasting much of your time I'm going to start so for the purpose of this I've already power on the two machines and what I need to do is to add this machine into my Wazo agent so go and for that we need to add new deployment so we ask us deploy new agent so on the deploy new agent we are going to see three options here you have select the package to download and install on your system you have the nylon system you have the windows system and we also have the mac os so for this we are not using windows system we are not using mac os and but we are using a linux system because it's an ubuntu machine so for that we are now we are going to choose debian based amd64 for the machines under under linux and this one this particular one server address is your wazo manager address take note of that server address is your wazo manager address which is 192.168.1.213 so i've already added that one to it so for the agent name i'm going to name it as let me check i'm going to name it as worker one because this machine name is worker one kubernetes so it's my kubernetes machine but i want to add it so is worker one i will add it as worker one worker one and can go down small if you go down you are going to see select one or more existing group you add it as default if you have like on this part is if you have a different group maybe you have to do one or two three group but this is the first installation i have not created any group so that's why you see a default group there so just add it to the default group and the next option is to run this following command that to download and install agent on your your agent machine so for this i'll just copy this command and go down to my agent machine and paste it so for that this i need to ssh into this kubernetes worker one load or current agent machine so for that i'll go on and be using um, i will be using in jitbash for my terminal for interaction so it's already i think i've already logged in here so i already logged in so i'll just paste the command and that's all. so enter this will download the agent and also install the agent. So you have already downloaded the agent and also install the agent. So what next now is to reload the agent. So for that, I will go back to this and you can see start the agent. So go back to the command and start the agent. So start.
so we have already started agent and everything is fine so let me explain what this command are doing so for the first command here we have you know, sudo system ctl demo reload so what demo reload does is that whenever you do some changes or configuration on your system the linux system or any other system for example it is linux system particularly whenever you do changes on your linux system demo reload will automatically reload the system configuration file to align with the new configuration so that is a function of this demo reload and this sudo system ctl enable as your agent when you enable an agent on the system ctl what you mean is that anytime you reload that particular system or anytime you do that particular server that you want that system to start automatically start when you reload them so let's say i reboot this system now i want this was agent to automatically start after after rebooting the system so that's what the system ctl enable was agent does so for the sudo system ctl start was agent you know what to start was agent means i mean i should to start the agent and the agent should be working so for that it's working so let's check the status of the agent before we go and check on our dashboard so as you can see the agent is running and it is enabled here <coughs> if it is not enabled you see disable but it may still be running but if it is disabled that means you have not enabled it on 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 startup for for now the enable is working the active and running so the status is running so let's just uh, queue to put this and go back to your endpoint to check if the user have already added the new agent into the user manager so you can reload this guy if it is not coming up you can reload it then I'll run. fine so let's wait for some few seconds and see if it is working fine so as you can see my worker one is ready added and this is it here as active so everything is fine with this so if you want to collect the log and analyze the log it may take some few seconds or few minutes so that's for the worker one so for the worker two i will we add a new worker to again so the same process no the no different processes still the same process add it as a debian base and the same ip address the ip i have noted the ip address is your Wazo manager IP address, so you can add this as worker two. Worker two. So change it as default. You can go down, and this is going to be copy and paste also. So for this, I'm going to be we, we copy and paste this into my um, agent two. That's my worker two. This guy here. So for that, I will need to SSH out of my worker one. So for that, I need to exit this guy. Exit. So, and it's a search tool. If you don't know how um, Vagrant work, so Vagrant is used to deploy a virtual machine into a virtual box or VMware. So, uh, Vagrant is very simple to manage virtual box or virtual by VMware. is used for virtualization. Is very very good if you have known know about it i will share you to uh, go on youtube and watch and if you want me to make a video on how to deploy a virtual machine with vagrant i will do that also so for this i will just go in as root user and paste the code paste the command so i'm already a root user in my worker too and i'll paste the code here <coughs> Don't know why it's not working. Got to see. Let's switch back. The issue with Vagrant is anytime you press Ctrl C on the terminal base, it always log you out completely. So just note that. Apart from that, Vagrant is very okay, and with using with Jitbash, everything is 
totally totally good so for this now i will the terminal is here it's not ready yet i'm not i'm not looking for what times i'm not seeing what i'm looking for so let me just cancel this terminal or open another terminal let me just open another terminal and ssh i think that will be better so then I see she should come up. Sorry for the delay. So wait for the work on to sit and begins to come into the cartoon. So please know that. I'm using Wakama because that's in my that's the name of my machine. Anytime you want to SSH into your machine, make sure you are using the username of that particular machine. So let's come to L and we are ready in Waka2. Go in as root user, start going as root user, copy the, the command you as well give us. So and paste it into your Waka2. So this will download the <coughs> Wazo agent and install it. After some downloading and installing it, we can now reload it and we are good to go. So we have already downloaded and installed it. So what we need to do is just to restart it and make the changes permanent. So, so I'm getting an error here. So the error says, and job creators and so 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 feel because the control process exits with error code so i think this error i've already come across this error before so <clears throat> without wasting much of the time i'm just going to edit my ip address on my system block on this was agent so for that you just need to open your system block and And edit the configuration file so here this is what you are going to edit this particular guy here the IP address instead of manager IP you are going to change it to your actual Wazo manager IP address which is 192.168.1.213 so let's go let's change it here I'm sorry, I will need to exit this this configuration file. I think I may be changes. So we need so, so the IP address here is 192.168.1.213. 192.168.1.213 three let's can we confirm the ip address of the visor so it's the same one ninety two does want to get two and three so let's edit and save the register so that's the you can save and quit so what's now let's reload it again and see if the issue is going to play okay. i'm just going to paste the Load here. Okay. Why is it not working? So, so the agent has already added, and everything is working fine. Seconds. So the agent, so the agent have already added and everything is working fine now. So what next is to check our dashboard if this agent have already been added. So we can go back to our endpoint and refresh. If the agent is already added, you are going to find it on the 
agent list so as you can see the agent already be added you can see this worker one and this worker two machines and everything is showing active and running so this is how you can add an agent into your wazor manager and if you are finding it difficult to add an agent to your wazor manager just make sure that your wazor manager that your this with your wazor manager here if you are using virtual box really you make sure that your wazor manager and the wazor the worker who in the wazor machine you are adding they are on the same network interface what i mean by they are in the same network interface is when you check this particular uh, machine they have you have three network interface which is this uh, you have this guy um, the host only adapter and also if you come here i also have the host only adapter also so they, that mean what the meaning of this is that this three machine can communicate with each other if you can ping the ip address of worker one here from your wazo terminal you can ping the app address of worker two from your worker one so there must be communication between the three um, machines when you are adding them if there is no communication there is a probability higher probability that they are not going to be connected so you are not we are they are not going to be added so if you try to add them it's not going to work so for that i think that is the only thing i have for this video and if you can see here i have a, another machine that is disconnected which is this particular guy here this is the ubuntu machine the reason i offer this one is because it's a is a master machine and you have a very high your rookie gram and if i own it it may really slow down the system performance and um, so on and so forth so that's why i didn't own it so anytime i own this machine this particular disconnect status will show to active so that's how you can add wazor agent into your wazor manager and if you find this good please like comment and subscribe and if you have an issue adding these machines into your own you can drop a comment or the error you are fixing you can fix it together and thanks and see you in my next video thank you bye